Today we're going to be looking at the clove hitch and a lot of people are going to consider the clove hitch as one of the essential knots that you need to learn. I kind of disagree with that premise because while the clove hitch can be a very good knot and useful knot for any number of different non-critical situations, it's not a knot that I trust, especially by itself. So it's usually used as a starter knot, uh, like when you're doing a trucker's hitch, you'll tie one end of the rope to one side of your pickup bed or your trailer and that will be your starting point. Generally it's not tied by itself though you'll also add a half hitch which I'll show you how that looks as well. So first let's tie the clove hitch. To begin with we're going to capture object with the clove hitch. So we're going to go around the object and because I'm right handed I'm going to leave the trailing end or the working end of the rope on the right hand side. Now what you want to do is you want to cross over to the left and then you'll immediately go around the object again in the same direction. And now you want to bring it back up through here and then when you dress the knot you will pull the working end and the standing end apart and that is how you form the clove hitch. This is what it looks like on top and if we spin it around this is what it'll look like on the bottom when it's done properly. Now the reason that I don't like the clove hitch very much uh, well, I'll tell you what, it's one of the first knots that I ever learned, uh, I guess apart from the overhand knot, because it's very, very easy to tie, it's very easy to untie. And for a lot of years, I used it because I just wasn't that knowledgeable about the different knots and different types of hitches that are out there. But as I've gotten older, I tend to stay away from this, especially in critical situations. Now again, I said that the one thing that you want to do with the clove hitch you generally don't want to ever tie it by itself so you'll finish the clove hitch and then you'll add an extra half hitch into it and this is the clove hitch plus half hitch that's what most people will generally use when tying this particular hitch i still don't trust this one uh, because i do a lot of tying for safety lines where we're working at heights and you depend on your safety line in fact you don't ever let anybody else tie your safety line if that means i have to truck 200 feet up the staircase to tie my own safety line then that's exactly what I do but this is not a knot that I would tie in that application that I'm going to trust my life to and I'm going to show you why all right so let's tie the clove hitch back up and like I said it's very easy to learn a tie it's not a hard knot to do and it's really kind of a muscle memory thing once you do it enough but the reason I don't like it is for a couple different reasons First of all, a lot of times I see this hitch done on the construction site where we are tying off safety lines. I've seen guys tie just a simple clove hitch to tie off a safety line and that is, that's a big no-no uh, because the clove hitch is just not secure enough. I've also seen where we'll drop ropes down from heights that are used to pick up tools uh, but at the end of the day you have to tie off that rope so it's not flapping in the wind rubbing up against buildings and getting damaged and a lot of times I'll see guys just throw a clove hitch in. The problem with that is that when a rope is in the wind like that, especially overnight, what you'll have is the standing end will be constant pressure from all different angles and you can see that just by moving the standing in a little bit I can undo the clove hitch without ever touching the working end of the rope. That's why I don't trust the clove hitch. Now with that being said, I do use the clove hitch still to this day in certain non-essential or non-safety applications. Uh, it can be a very useful knot for a temporary knot, but I would encourage you to never tie the clove hitch by itself and always throw in the half hitch behind it to make it a much more secure knot. And This is the clove hitch plus half hitch.